this spot in the Lake Union neighborhood, you'll find where the magic starts with Beecher's cheese. Chef knives have a different amount of throw. Kurt Beecher Dammeyer, a chef by trade, is the founder of the Beecher's Cheese Company. He's always on the cutting edge of creating something special, not just whipping up gazpacho for his employees' lunch in the test kitchen, but also new recipes for the consumer. The magic sauce is having a very high bar. Our, our statement, our kind of like company statement, is trusted deliciousness. Today, Beecher's is more than just cheese. They're now the fastest growing frozen food company in the nation, with everything from their award-winning mac and cheese to lasagna and gluten-free products. One of the core tenets of my entire food business is no additives, no chemicals, just pure food in everything. That's one of the reasons we're in the frozen food business is because you don't have to put chemicals in to preserve it since it's in the freezer. And their lineup of soups is also delicious. Some with cheese like the tomato cheddar, some without. The chicken veggie without noodles looks great. All right, I'm gonna try this one because everybody likes the chicken. Gosh, dude, that's another home run. That's the chickeniest chicken soup you've probably ever tasted. Even with their super soups, Beecher's bread and butter is cheese. They're iconic in the Northwest and beyond, creating all their delicious cheese in one location, Pike Place Market. I'm proud of every time somebody walks into our Beecher store at Pike Place Market and tastes our mac and cheese or our cheese and just starts developing their trust of what we do. Um, the, the store in Pike Place is full frontal allegory for trust. We make the cheese right behind glass. You can watch us make it. And, and there's no fakiness there. We're making two million pounds of cheese a year in Pike Place Market. And this cheese is really special. Features recently won another national award for best in show. The most awards of this kind than any other cheese company. And I couldn't wait to try it. All right, Kurt, so what do we have here? We got four different cheeses. I see that, but they're kind of different. These like are the same. These are four different cheeses, but the exact same cheese. And they're, che they're the different ages and ways of aging these different. We've got cheese curds, which are fresh cheese, squeaky cheese, kind of has salt on the outside, tastes a little bit like mozzarella. That's really good. I have to admit, that's really good. Next, I tried Beecher's biggest seller, regular flagship cheddar. The exact same cheese as the curds, just aged for two years. It was delicious, but we were just getting warmed up. This one I've never tried. This is extra aged, four year aged flagship, and you're, you're probably gonna taste, it's the same cheese, you're probably gonna taste some crystals, it's a little crunchy, mm. and you're gonna taste a more pronounced sweetness, and maybe some caramel. Mm. All that. What are you, a cheese guy? <laughs> <laughs> I've tasted it before. All right, so I know this one's your award winner, right? This is the one that just won the big award, and it's won several of, of big awards. And this is the exact same cheese, but aged in cloth. A aged um, not in plastic, and so it loses weight as it ages. So it gets drier and more concentrated in its flavor. Wow. More caramel. A little bit of overtone of like, Parmigiano-Reggiano. It almost feels a little lighter than, than these two in here, a little bit. But, oh my God. Kurt, that's money. That was, that's the word. Now you like idea. this one? You said uh, you like this one, but now, now which ones do you like I, the best? You want me to be 100% honest? I do. I'm kind of leaning towards that one. I told you that. I know, you, I know. It, I'm kind of leaning the, that one. Because it's got this sweetness in it. Mm. That, yeah, oh my God. I love that one. I it's like this nice. one. And this is the one that wins it with, with real, real cheese people. But I think the general public is probably more like you, that they'd like this one better. Beecher is my middle name. And um, so I take real personal pride in it. When I hear unbidden praise and love of my product, it just creates this deep sense of warmth that radiates and like stays with me for a, a couple of days. 